Well, let's give him a bow, or an arrow. Yep. That was not an entire arrow. Arrow, that's a funny looking arrow. Another brush stroke. I wonder what we're going to learn this time. Wow, the, half those stars counted? I was way off. I suppose if we're kind of, if uh, as a wolf, we're kind of an upgraded form of a dog, then there's our upgraded cat. Wait, if you're the god of thunder, then shouldn't you just be the god of making really loud noises? Not that you can't do that, too. I mean, I'm not going to tell a tiger what he can and can't do. Kind of like a lightning rod. Well, I see some lightning. Isun did say from the start that the only reason he was here was to steal the brush strokes from us. Perhaps he's actually growing a little bit fond of our adventures. Yay, digging spot. Oh, you know, I have a whole lot of praise now. Yeah, I want more life, but I suppose I probably should get another one of these at some point. Well, if I get another 51 along the way. I don't know why I worry so much about life, though. If I even lose all my godhood, I... I act as though I have lost the fight if I've lost my godhood. And it's an electric-powered chest! And that's the thing, we can explode. I should probably get away from it, though. Wow, that, there went the whole floor! Well, as this soon says, leap before you think. Hey, wait a minute. You look suspicious. Aha! I got some money out of it. 
And these are those pointy things we saw before. And an electric key, I guess. Oh, well, let's take it with us. In a trap. Well, I guess I can, I can step on them. So I have platforms as long as I have this thing. That's kind of neat. Climbing up, uh, climbing up the thing. Oh, and you know what? I have a source of electricity. Take that door. Ah, oh, dang. Really, just you? Well, electrocuting you wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but whatever works, I suppose. Really? That was it? You're gonna stop me for that fight? Torment! Funny that. Now, the Labyrinth of Torment, they call it that, but it's actually not bad. It's not dangerous at all, it's kind of interesting. It's like a little maze. And you have options, and you can get items and stuff. Now I'll say right off, you have to go in the center one if you want to get anywhere. The left one and the right one will lead to dead ends. Though, if you want to go through a little crack in the door or something, you can technically reach the exit from anywhere. Or from any entrance. But if you don't, and I choose not to for the sake of me making sure I don't get lost... Then you have to go through the center to exit. So I'll go through the right one then, which should be a dead end, so I can get a couple items along the way. Because I like getting items. I can sell them for stuff. And you know, maybe I should upgrade my money while I'm at it at some point. That's a dead end. That's an item. And you know, I know there was a hole in the wall in one of these, but I don't see it anywhere. Oh well, can't be that important. Through the center! Centaur, centaur. Centaur, like the things with the four legs. Also, the solution to a puzzle. There's our hole, so if we skip through there, we could have gone here both ways. Going back this way, looks like we can go through here, which takes us just into here, so I can go either right or straight. That leads that way. There's a hole in the up there we could go through if we so chose. I choose not, because I like not getting lost. Now, from here, we can go... That's a dead end, so that makes things a little easier. That appears to be our exit. So, you know what? What's over here? I haven't been this way. Dead end, dead end. Okay, so we're good to go to the exit. What's in here? Anything important? Nah, just a shortcut if we wanted to jump through there. Oh well, we are through the labyrinth. Hey, wait a minute. I remember this room. Not gonna attack me with anything on the way back? Okay. Oh, hey, we can open this door now. G 
goodies. Like a pearl, which will be sold for something, full, uh, sold for some money shortly. And I suppose the only place left for us to go is through this gateway. Hope everyone enjoyed that. After 40 minutes, we've successfully entered the front door. Hmm, I don't have any electricity. Maybe if I go back over here. Open them both. Get a goodie from two. More stuff I'm probably going to sell. It's the Thunder God. And another nine-pointed sword. I'm not sure about that one either. Now, our statue there is of, I believe it's pronounced Raijin, the Thunder God. Often portrayed pretty much just like that. He's surrounded by drums, and he pounds on those to make himself some uh, thunder. Seeing as he's holding the nine-pronged lightning rod there, I guess he's the god of lightning now, too. Wonder where I go from here. Well, I suppose I could certainly go up, but hey, lightning! Alright, lightning god, have some lightning. I guess he was just the thunder god. Couldn't take some lightning. Whee! Anything of note down here? Well, not gonna let me in. Hmm. Oh dang. Oh dang, the lava's rising! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit him in the eye! Did I get all of them? Ah, got some all! I don't think we've seen a dungeon yet with even a single area change marker in it. This one has, like, three in it so far. And this is kind of a neat area. I actually really like this area. It almost makes me wonder what a, um, what, like, a side-scrolling Okami game would be like. If just the whole game was this kind of platforming game. Another one of those, so I guess we need one of those keys for that. Oh, that was almost spiky. Now, you don't want to fall down, and that takes us back down where we came from. You can use Cat Call here, though, to go up here. As you'll notice, the thing inside is actually not... Ow, jerk! The thing inside is not spinning, only the gear on the outside was. Okay, let's see if I can't do this one without failing horribly. Oh, this one ended well. Oh, that ended well. How about that? That ended quite well. That ended beautifully! And for our troubles, a key! A lightning key. Oh, that was almost painful. Okay, go on by, Mr. Spiky Platform.
But I like carrying around a source of lightning. Be nice if I could use the key and then take the key back out and keep carrying it with me. Whoa! I didn't see you until I was... It was too late. I see what I can do here. I can go up through these holes. And this one appears to be spinning just a little bit faster. And that one's spinning faster still. That wasn't so bad. I like it. Once again, kind of an interesting area. It actually makes me wonder what a whole game like that would be like. Hey, another save point. Got another lightning dude there. Hey, a chest. I want to open that, but I need lightning to open that. Well, we can scope the area out here and the fight. What do we got? And one thing I haven't really been mentioning much lately are the floral finishers on a lot of enemies. Come back here. And half the reason for that is the floral finishers on these little sacks of crap are all the cherry bomb. And I hate using the cherry bomb in battle. Oh, come back here. And when drawing the cherry bomb, make sure draw the cherry make sure to draw the cherry bomb as though you're setting it on the ground. So you can't just draw it over top of the enemy or it'll shoot it way off in the distance or something. And it pretty much has to be right on top of the enemy or they won't get caught in the explosion. Hmm. A key! An exorcism key! Well, I can cut that one, but that was kind of neat. I can also grab some of these and make my way back. Now, another reason I had I generally don't mess much with the, um... Whoa, there. With the floral finishers is I actually rather like fighting crap in this game. I guess we're not going that way. So I tend not to go out of my way to get demon fangs when I won't often need demon fangs. Yay, I have a key! Well, I'd go back the other way. I could make the platforms now, but there was just a... I have to get the other key to the other side somehow, too. So I guess I'll... I guess I'll do this. Yeah, I kind of like fighting enemies in the game, though, so I tend not to worry too much about the floral finishers. I just fight them and have fun. And anything with a anything with a uh, power slash floral finisher is generally a pretty easy one to do, and I almost do that out of habit, so I may do that one. But actually, the effort of Finnick figuring out what an enemy's floral finisher is, and then remembering to use it when I don't care half the time... So, I generally don't worry about it. And that's another blocking spider. He's huge! The blocking spiders were all tiny and living inside of... an emperor. Well, not actually, but... close. Well, we're up here, but now we're standing on a platform, so I guess to go down, I... drop this. Whee! And hey, that's our exorcism arrow! So now we got it. I said. Not that, I don't want that. There we are. Hmm. We're not getting out that way. But right over here. 
is a thin with thin we can explode. Aha! Eat key! Now, can I go back inside and get my electric key? Because I really want my electric key. No, it's gone! It despawned or something, I guess. That's okay, they actually put this in over here in just for this occasion. Whee! Because when an item despawns, it usually goes back to where it was before um, you grabbed it. So our key is sitting right back here. So yeah, I'm gonna try to make an effort to show off some more floral finishers here, but um, don't count on anything because I honestly don't care half the time. And when I actually need demon fangs, I just go out and farm them. Because I kind of like farming them. Can I go behind the staircase? There looks like there may be stuff back there. Guess not. Oh well. Not important. And you always have to check because there's always something over here. Open on up, Mr. Electric Chest. And give me Bullhorn. Toby! Aha, oh, Toby, I haven't seen you in ages. How's it doing, buddy? Toby. So this is no longer even a race about gatekeeping. It's a race for the competition. For the competitor's spirit in him. You know, that's something I can respect. And with the blocking spider above, you have to slow down time. And right here, you have to jump over the spike, so be careful about that. And then more spikes there, so be more careful still. And we made it through. That one's not actually very bad at all. Yeah, as I said, this one is actually not very bad at all. Um... Probably the worst part is getting hit by those spikes that jump up if you don't know they're there. And I happen to know they're there. And even then, even if you know they're there, you may still uh, get hit by them on occasion. But you don't actually lose all that much time for hitting them. I mean, you still have plenty of time to win. Now we have two sources of electricity here, and they give us two more Onis. And supposedly, these guys are weak to lightning. You can make them drop their mask, and then you can hit them from any angle. And he jumped on top of me. But to be honest, I've tried hitting them any number of ways at any number of times, and I couldn't get lightning to do anything too special to them. So I'm just going to kind of pound on them regularly. Hey, that was kind of nifty. I can do that and stun him and then run over and smack him in the booty. Just like fighting against Crimson Helm, since you didn't have to fight, since when you were attacking him, you didn't want to hit him from the front. You just have to run to the sides of these guys and hit them in their weak spot. Their fleshy, not giant stone face. Well, I'm down a couple levels of godhood, but I don't really care. I'm okay. I'm doing fine. Where am I going now? Going this way, I suppose? I don't like that. Don't like it at all. Not terribly fond of that either. I'll do that. And then I'll go this way. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, crap! Okay, note to self, the, uh, pat the uh, platform doesn't actually lead the whole way across. Good to know. That is one shiny floor, look at that. 
And a cat statue. And as we're learning here, the cat statues don't, aren't always even drug up. They can be drug down. Now, careful not to jump into the spikes. And I kind of want that chest, but there's a blocking spider there, so... Oh. Not even close to making that. Now, I could actually open the chest from here, but I think the chest is just a little too far from the edge for the item to just, uh... fall off the edge where I could grab it. There we go, that worked. That worked beautifully. Item! Another pearl. Hey there, big guy. We Fight! What am I fighting this time? What do you got for me? What, do you got more of these guys? Really? Really? I can take these guys out, they're no trouble. Hey, you! You can die! And I'll just blow you up some here. Wow, look at that crap go flying! Yeah, yeah, smack your butt at me. I don't care. I'm picking up stuff. I hit the button! I hit the button that was supposed to make me move to one side and not get hit. Please get this in before I hit him! I don't know what happened there, but money rains down upon me. And I got a demon fang out of it, I think. So it all works. Nowhere to. That's where I came from, so I guess there are only other ways this way. Out and around and Blockhead! Once again! It's been a while, Blockhead. I haven't seen you since... Kusa Village. I wonder if I've missed any blockheads. Are there any optional... Well, the one in Kusa Village was optional, so maybe there are optional blockheads. Hope I haven't missed any. Well, no... Just because you're blocking my way and I kind of need to get through. Now, Blockhead is actually... Whoops! Blockhead is actually um, yet another interpretation of a Japanese phantom. Specifically, um, a phantom that stret it was a wall that blocked your passage if you're out wandering around at night or some such, that stretched in, every, in all directions eternally, so you couldn't actually get around it at all. The only way to get by him was to just go up and quietly knock on it, and the wall would disappear. So much like you would knock on those, here we are poking and prodding Blockhead's weak points before he explodes. Now the ghost does actually have an, or the uh, phantom does actually have a name. It escapes me at the moment. Um, I'll annotate it in or some such if I'm feeling up to it. But Blockhead, what do you got for me? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, dang it! If you fail, he actually drops all these rocks and crap on you. So you gotta be a little careful. And then try again. Hata! I've got nothing against you, Blockhead. 
We just kind of have stuff to do. All right, Toby. A final dash? What do you mean, final? Now this one, um, Toby actually takes off booking. And if you hit it, you may be wondering, well, where the crap am I supposed to go? If you take the time before the fight to actually, before the race to actually look around, you can blow up that. And you can see just on the other side, a little blossom. So sorry, Toby, but um, I'm gonna have to win this race. Crap. Final moment. A bouquet of flowers. Toby. You may have been merely a, s a slip of paper, but you are an honorable spirit. be missed, Toby. You will be missed. So long, comrade. But with that, we arrive at the very top of Oni Island. We can run our way around here, and we even find our temporary save. And at the very tip top, we have where I'm certain Nine Tails awaits us. Until next time, everyone. We'll avenge everyone we've lost. We will save everyone that's left. Ooh.